One of the topics I run into with uh, circuit simplification is um, basically the concept of uh, combining parallel branches. And uh, what I've drawn out here is a uh, pretty simple, um, you know, three uh, branch, three parallel branch circuit driven by a 12 volt battery. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the uh, resistance values are. Uh, the point of this exercise is merely to point out how you can turn a circuit that looks like this uh, into a more uh, basic circuit. Uh, this obviously is the same 12 volt supply um, with just one resistor in series. And the question you might be asking is, is why do we want to do that? And uh, the main answer is uh, when you want to find out some of the um, primary um, calculations for the whole circuit, such as how much current is flowing through the entire circuit. Uh, in this case, we don't actually know the values of the resistors, so I can't directly uh, answer that, not with tangible numbers. However, um, this is a way of writing the same concept, uh, meaning R1 is parallel with R2, and that is parallel with R3. Uh, and what this translates uh, to mathematically uh, is this uh, particular formula, which is, let's take a, a simple example where all three resistors are uh, equivalent. So let's just say, um, let's say each one of these is uh, four, uh, let's see, I'm trying to make this uh, come out pretty simple. Let's say, let's say they're each 12 ohms. That way this math works out easy without a calculator. So if these were all 12 ohms, using this formula, you'd have 112 plus 112 plus 112, which is 312s. And then you're basically inverting that. So it'd be 12 over 3, which is 4. So uh, this setup would be the equivalent of a single 4 ohm resistor. And once you know that, uh, if you've got a supply of 12 volts and you've got, uh, you know, I guess 12 over here, and you've got a 4 ohm resistor right here, uh, then you would have 3 uh, amps of current flowing through the circuit. And once you know that, uh, you pretty much have most of the variables uh, available to you. So you'd know how much voltage was being applied to each branch, and you would know that in total you had 3 amps of current flowing through the circuit. And since we know that these are all equal in this particular case, simple, I know, but still, nevertheless, uh, you would know that each one of these branches would be uh, basically accounting for one amp. Uh, so in total, um, if you've got you know, three amps of current flowing here, uh, keep in mind, I'm, I guess I'm out of habit from reading books lately. I'm speaking about this in uh, um, the actual electronic flow notation as opposed to conventional, but the exact same concepts apply. It doesn't really matter. Pick your direction and stick with it. So three amps of current here, one amp, one amp, one amp. General rule of uh, Kirchhoff's current law is that, you know, obviously the, the inputs must be the uh, sum uh, for the actual bank here. So uh, in this case, you know, one plus one plus one must equal three on the way out. So, um, that's the basic idea of how to combine um, parallel branches. Uh, one of the things that gets pretty nifty is when you start adding more complexity. Um, say, you know, you've got, say there was another resistor here, and maybe another one here. And then you start to ask yourself, so how do you, how do you use these concepts when you have something a little bit more complicated? And the general rule is to work from the outward uh, in towards the battery. So in this case, um, you'd start by combining, like let's just, let's label these R4 and R5. So in this case, you'd actually start by transforming this into, um, you know, basically this circuit becomes R3 plus R4 and, uh, this goes away again because we know that resistors in uh, series uh, is the equivalent of their sum 
uh, total resistance. Um, and then once you have that, you would create a parallel uh, between these two, right? So you'd end up with basically uh, this this resistor here would be, um, let me rewrite this over on the other side for R2. We would end up with R2 parallel with R3 plus R4. Uh, and of course, this is all gone now, right? You grab an eraser at some point, but whatever. Uh, you get the idea here. So now, as you can see, we're starting to simplify. And, and in this case, again, we would be like saying, okay, now we just need to sum this, um, sum this as well, right? So you say, okay, well, so let's just uh, put parentheses around these things to keep the order of operations in place here. So plus R5, right? I could actually write that. So then this guy would go away. He would no longer be there. And then of course we would do this one more time. We have one more parallel set, so we have like, you know, something like this with R1. And then uh, basically this guy would go away. And that would end up being the idea of how you would solve, um, in the most simplified form, that circuit we started with. Um, but ultimately, the uh, only two principles that we used were, uh, one, the simpler of the two for, you know, if you've got two resistors in series, then you sum them up. And the second one being, when you have uh, branches in parallel, how do you combine them? And we just use this guy. Now, uh, one... Uh, uh, shortcut when you only are dealing with, uh, let's say we had, uh, let's just we grab a napkin here one sec, guys. Say you've got, um, say you only have to simplify two branches. Uh, so, like, we've just got those two guys. So, you could, of course, always go this route to combine them, but. Um, there's also the uh, expression you may have heard, uh, product over sums. So what you can do, if you've only got two branches you're trying to combine, you can take their product, so R1 times R2 over their sum, R1 plus R2, and this will yield the same thing as going through this exercise if you're only dealing with two. So if we had in our original example, it was, um, we had, 12, I believe, for um, all the resistors. So let's just take that one again. Um, so this would be 24 if we were to sum them. If we were to multiply that, and that'd be, was that 144? So we end up with uh, 144 divided by uh, 24, which is what? That's 6. Yeah, 6. So 6. So, so using this approach, you end up with uh, six, a single 6 ohm resistor. Um, likewise, if we did this approach, we would end up with 1 over 12 plus 1 over 12. We don't really have that third one in play at this point, alright? So that's 2 over 12, and then you flip it over, and it's 12 over 2, which is 6. So this 2 would equal 6. So two different ways, we'll get rid of that too, two different ways to arrive at the same result for combining parallel branches. So. Uh, hopefully this has been informative. Um, I'm still kind of working my way through some of the more uh, advanced uh, parts of the chapters that kind of deal with the series parallel circuits, which is essentially what this example, the earlier one I uh, drew for you guys with um, some in series and some in parallel, that was pretty much the combination of a simple series circuit and a simple parallel circuit. Because most of the time when we're looking at circuits, we actually are looking at a combination of both. It's not too often, unless it's a very simple circuit that you'll see something as uh, fundamental as this. But um, anyways, hope that's been helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.